Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are all doing very well. So, as you can tell by title, today's video is going to be about my collection of highlighters that I suggest everyone has. These are going to be the must-have blinding highlighters that I've personally tried and I just wanted to share that with you. Now, I'm definitely a highlight girl, as you can see. I'm definitely someone that likes a good highlight. I do have days where I do prefer subtle highlights, but at night time, I like to shine, I like to bling, I like to be spotted from a mile away. So I thought, why not do a video and share with you guys my favourite or must-have blinding highlighters. So this is going to range from affordable and high-end sort of highlighters. So it's going to be a wide range for those of you that definitely want to save money and for those of you that don't mind spending a little bit more. Every highlighter that I mention or list will be in the description bar below. So make sure you check this out. Hopefully by watching this video, I do introduce you to a highlighter that you may want to try or add to your collection. I definitely love it if in the comment section down below, you guys share what you consider a must have highlighter or highlighters that you own or have in your collection. Anyway, if you want to see what I recommend as the must have blinding highlighters do carry on watching so I'm not going to mention this in any particular order I'm just going to share with you guys what I would consider must have highlighters so the first one which I'm going to show you guys is a drugstore highlighter this is by makeup revolution and it's called golden light which looks like this if you are someone that watches my makeup tutorials you will know that I definitely use this a few times and it's definitely been in my list of must-have products so the next brand which I would recommend is Artist Couture. So I purchased these five highlighters when Jackie Aina had her LeBron's collaboration with them. As of now, all these four are still available apart from LeBron's which was limited edition. But anyways, here are the swatches. With these powdered highlighters, you only need a little bit for intensity. I definitely also like to use these as eyeshadows. If you want your highlighter to go from glowing to blinding, then that's when you most likely want to reach out for some kind of setting spray or fix plus kind of spray. If you spray that and use that in conjunction with these highlighters from Artist Couture, you will be shining from a mile away. But as I mentioned already, you only need a little bit to go a long way with these highlighters. The next highlighter which I'm going to show you guys is also another drugstore one. This is from City Colour, which looks like this. This is a bronzer in the shade Dawn. Unfortunately, I can't find these anymore. I've only found a few on Amazon slash eBay. I don't know if City Colour have just discontinued this, but I can't even find this on their website. I've had this for the past two to three years. Definitely a must have. It has such a nice golden undertone that I just feel like a little bit again goes a long way, but it gives a nice natural finish to the skin, but you can also build it up. The next brand which I would recommend is definitely Fenty Beauty. If you watch my two previous videos, you would have seen I've done tutorials and information about the brand and recent products that were launched. So the first two that I would recommend, apart the Shimmer Skin Sticks, they're so damn cool. I definitely love these. These are twisties which go up like this. I feel like this glides on better if you apply this before any sort of finishing powder. It's also best to rub the product on the back of your palm or back of your hand and then dab in with a brush and then apply that to the apples of your cheek. And they also serve as a multi-purpose kind of product so I definitely have been using these on my lids. The other two that I recommend from Fenty Beauty are the Kilowatt Highlighters. First you have the one that broke the internet, which is Trophy Wife. Trophy Wife was all over the gaff, giving people heart attack. You can definitely wear this in the daytime if you use it very, very lightly. For me, this is definitely a highlighter I'll reach out for at night time. It's a yellow green, which can be quite intense. Another one is the Duo Kilowatt Highlighters, which they have in various colours. The one that I picked up was, was Ginger Binge slash Moscow Mule which looks like this. Again, I have a tutorial using both of these in my previous Fenty review. So next brand which I'm going to speak about is Cover FX. So this is another highlighter which I would recommend and it's in the shade Medium Deep. This is the perfect light highlighting palette which looks like this. It's a compact palette 
with four different types of highlighters you have two cream highlighters and two powdered highlighters you have one cream and one powder which is the same color another cream another powder which is the same color and they're basically in the shade sunlight and candlelight personally in this palette i do prefer the golden tones i feel like they look better on my skin tone they just look more luscious on my skin tone compared to the silver one but by all means everyone has their preferences however with the silver color in this palette i tend to reach out for it when i'm doing a makeup look and i want to add some silver in the tear duct area it acts as a nice color without it being too intense and too in your face but yeah this is definitely a nice compact palette which you can build together as a cream as a powder or as both where it's definitely intense the next brand that i'm going to recommend is a highlighter from mac this is definitely an oldie but it is a goodie so if you're familiar with my old makeup tutorials, would have seen me mention this this is gold deposit one of my must-haves and one of my favorites we go way back this is the same one that i've had for years i'm sure it's probably expired by now but no one needs to know that it still works fine and i've not broken out so hopefully it continues to be that way and i've not spoken anything in existence but yeah i personally love this highlighter nothing else i can add or say about this apart from i love it <laughs> so these next highlighters which are definitely blinding they're actually new to my collection are from a brand called louise so these are what they look like they're illuminating drops i've got the shade gold getter golden rose and champagne honestly you need just a little bit for it to go a long way i actually use that as the base for my eyeshadow today and it just made the eyeshadow stick so perfectly and i also love the packaging like it's just so cute now the next highlighter which i'm going to mention is another oldie but a goodie so this highlighter is from nars nars is definitely one of the first makeup brands that i started playing about with anyways this color is called albatross and yeah all these years i still haven't fixed my albatross or bought or replaced it with a new one but anyway with albatross the thing about it is it looks like a white powder it looks like it's going to be ashy as heck however once you blend it into your skin it just melts into gold and it just looks lovely the dimensional glow that you get once you use this highlighter is just out of this world i really really love it. it also acts as a beautiful color that you can add in the tear duct area for me personally i feel like this is a highlighter that looks good on all skin tones but personally i feel like albatross is a must-have so for my drugstore lovers you'll be happy to know that the next two which i'm going to recommend are also drugstore highlighters so these two are from sleek the first one comes in the face form contour palette which looks like this and this is in the shade dark the two highlighters in this palette should not be slept on i feel like they're so underrated these two are my everyday highlighters if i want a natural glow to the skin these are the two that i'll reach out for depending on how i feel i'll go for either color and there's other days where i mix them both together and then i get that extra whoosh of highlight the glow is just like mm. it just looks so great on the skin and obviously this is a contour palette so i feel like it's a good palette to have because you've got your contour and you've got your highlight two in one and it's very affordable the next one is also by sleek and this is in the shade i believe it's called pompey and this is basically a liquid highlighter it's called the bear kiss illuminator another good highlighter it's also skin like you can mix this with your foundation to give you that summer glow when you go on holiday i feel like you get it with this however you can build it up for it to be quite intense so the next one which i would recommend is i guess considered more of a high-end brand this is by estee lauder in their estee edit collection which i believe is now going to be discontinued but anyway this is also a highlight and contour product and it's basically this pencil very creamy another slept on contour duo i love this so much it's again a very nice golden tone again something that you can build up but gives the skin a nice glow and you have the bonus of having contour pencil attached to it so you have two in one very lightweight easy whilst traveling because you could just easily throw this in your bag not literally not going to weigh anything so the next highlighter is another one for you drugstore lovers i guess this one is considered a highlight palette so i actually had no plans to buy this palette however i was gifted this palette at an event i decided to play about with this palette 
honestly i feel like this is another one that i slept on this is by nyx this is their strobe of genius palette it comes with one two three four five six seven different highlighting color again this has a mixture of colors it's got some gold it's got some rose gold it's got that purple it's got that silver it's just got quite a few in here so depending on what you prefer there's something in here for you first i'm not one that goes for the the purpley blue kind of highlighters unless i'm doing more like a playful look but for an everyday look it's something that i would not reach out for however playing with this palette i i've also noticed that this is a palette that i can use as an eyeshadow in addition to it being a highlight palette i underestimated how intense the highlighters will be from this palette but again this is actually a palette that i feel like it would be both suitable for those of a darker skin tone and for those of a lighter skin tone because there's a color in here that was able to suit everyone if you love highlight palettes, then here's another one that you should reach out for. So this is a palette that everyone loved, but I wasn't particularly in love with it when I purchased it. However, I've grown to like it more than I did when I received it. So this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is the Glow Kit palette in the shade The Glow. Now I would admit there's another one that came after this, which was a bit darker. I hands down want that one with this palette i feel like the highlighters once you swatch them once it's not as bold it's more of a natural highlight however when you build it up that's when it's popping it's definitely for me more my everyday kind of highlighter is what i'll go for with this one this goes in the same bracket with my sleek contour one so again you're getting four different highlighters however you can mix them about to create your own different look another nice palette that you can use as eyeshadows so it's a multi-purpose sort of product so the last company which i'm going to mention with the last but not the least these are also powder highlighters and this is from makeup addiction so these are the highlighters that i do have here these are crazy intense these are even blinding these are blah, 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 blinding from a mile away you are going to be shining again i also like to use this as a multi-purpose kind of product where i use it on the eyes and you know do all that jazz my favorite one is a bronzified because this is more or less that golden glistening undertow and it's actually what i'm wearing today if you like this makeup look let me know i may do a tutorial on it again it's just so intense it's just in your face i really do like it they've got one that's a crazy unicorn color and this is in the shade mermaid beam this is more of a playful color that i would personally go for then they've got orgasmic which is beautiful this is more like a rosy golden pinky kind of highlighter again i love it and the last one is snow girl snow gold which is intense it's ridiculous how intense they are these honestly are must-haves they are based in the uk um i don't know what else to say apart from these are b -b 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 blinding let me know are you team subtle highlights or are you team blinding highlights what team are you rocking i feel like i'm in between there's times i like a subtle and there's times i want that thing to shine so yeah that is the end of the must have blinding highlighters that you need in your life if you like to glow yeah please hit that thumbs up button if you found a highlighter in here that you want to get thank you guys for watching and i just put you guys in my next video bye guys I give you the big thing, come and make a love, yeah. Come and let me kiss, yeah. You they give me ginger, come on, I the see things, so you meet the lady. I know this you.